Hey everybody, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use the open source Neural Amp Modeler plugin to create a beautiful ambient guitar tone that sounds like this. <laughs> early 2023, the Neural Amp Modeler tech is pretty new, and it's open source, and it's free, and that's super cool. If you're not familiar with it, it's comprised of two components. Component number one is the capture processor. I'll call it that. It allows you to process an audio capture that you've made of your amplifier or distortion pedal or speaker cabinet or what have you. And it runs through the whole machine learning process, pretty cool, and creates a profile, a model profile. You can then take that model profile and load it into component number two, which is a plugin that you can run in your DAW and process your dry recorded guitar tone. As you can see, I've got Logic Pro pulled up and I just wanna walk through the whole patch and show you how I got the sound and we'll take a, take a pretty good look at that Neural Amp Modeler plugin. So here is the dry recorded tone of the performance that you heard at the beginning of this video. Ooh, yeah, pretty naked and pretty non-inspiring. So I did add a compressor to it. It's just the Logic Pro compressor. So, you know, pretend you've got a compressor pedal at the front of your signal chain. But let's go ahead and pull up the Neural Amp Modeler plugin. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's pretty simple. There's the input gate, bass, middle, treble, and an overall output, much like a simple amplifier interface. Down here at the bottom, that's kind of interesting. This is where you can load in two things. One will be the modeling profile that was processed by the machine learning or artificial intelligence. I'm not sure what it is. Machine learning process of the overall tech. And so what I did was I downloaded some models. And so point number one or one and a half is this neural app modeler package has a wonderful community built up around it. There is a Facebook group with several thousand members, and there are literally hundreds of amp models that you can download and play around with. So that's what I did. Uh, what I'm using right now, I'll show you a couple different models. What I'm using right now is a high watt model. It's a clean, it's on the normal clean channel. And then I've running that into a Celestian a Creamback IR. It's actually a standard IR file, and it's actually a Celestian branded IR. So I kind of use that as my standard speaker. So here's what uh, this little simple guitar part sounds like running through the Neural Amp Modeler. Much nicer. Now I'll go ahead and play around with the controls a little bit so you can hear how it changes. So, you know, pretty cool. The, uh, the input and the tone controls do pretty much what you would expect. Let's go before I move on to the rest of the this patch. Let's try just a couple of other options so you can get a feel for you know what's possible with the neural amp modeler. So here is a Marshall power amp only tone model or uh, profile model model profile. And let me go ahead and load that and let me play around with this a little bit. A lot different. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. Now, that's this isn't necessarily the type of song that I would use with this tone, but pretty nice nonetheless. Let's try a Fender Twin uh, profile. Now, that profile is a little quieter, and that is one thing you'll need to be aware of as people create their profiles. They're creating them at different gain levels. So you'll need to play around with the input and the output to match your gain. Let me try one more for you. And this would be an AC-10. There were some nice uh, nice AC-10 um, options there. Here's a fat jangle model. Actually, I kind of like that one a lot, but I'm going to go back to the high watt because that's the one I actually used in the performance. So, uh, yeah, the neural amp modeler, uh, definitely would recommend that you try it out. Now I do want to make clear that this tech is pretty early. Uh, you might say it's maybe not quite production ready, although I think it's probably pretty close. Uh, so you'll want to just be aware of that. Um, and I think as time goes on, it's going to become a lot more user-friendly. And I'm pretty sure the plugin will gain more, on, more and more capabilities as time goes on. All right, so we're back to uh, the model and the basic settings that I used, the high watt. Okay, so let me just run through a few effects that I added into this patch. The first up that I'll mention is the um, is another compressor, and so I've got a compressor before and after the amplifier, and this just helps to smooth things out. All right, after the compressor, I tried a few different plugins, you know, just by way of experimentation, but I landed on the first one or the next one in the chain with one of my favorites, the Chow Matrix Delay plugin. It's a, this is another free plugin. And I've got this loaded with one of my Alan Holdsworth presets. And by the way, if you're interested in a Alan Holdsworth preset pack, let me know in the comments below and maybe I can put one together. Anyhow, this one's called Chorus One and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Next up after the Chow Matrix in the signal chain is the Valhalla Delay. And I've got this set up to pretty long delay times. As you can see, I've got delay on the left side set up to 9.2 seconds, delay on the right side set up to 12.5 seconds. And this gives me a Frippertronics effect. I'm going to let this play. I've got it set pretty low, but I'll bring it up so you can hear how the delay is riding underneath the main guitar tone. Remember, we've, we have to wait nine seconds before it comes in. So you can see why I've got that mix brought down to about 17%. It sounds really cool, but I don't want it too high because there's too much going on. All right, next up after the Valhalla delay is a little bit of reverb, and I'm just using the stock Logic reverb set to a simple concert hall setting. <laughs> And that just adds a little fullness. Now, there is one other plugin actually at the beginning of the signal chain almost that I added in. And this is the Logic Pro Enveloper or Enveloper. And I've got it set to one of my presets called Swell Guitar. And this creates an auto swell kind of effect. So let me turn it on here and with everything else and just check this out. Mm -hmm. 
One of the things I really like about auto swell is that while it's not as good as a volume pedal, as you play, you can really kind of play around with the auto swell and decide when you want it to swell and when you want to hear the pick attack. And when I performed this in the studio here, I had the enveloper turned on so I could hear how it was affecting my guitar and so I could kind of play around and anticipate what was going to happen on the auto swell side. All right, that's the guitar patch, but there's one other piece. This is my kind of ambient guitar, so I have to have a drone. And for this drone, I decided to use the Wucha Ambient Generator plugin. And I'm using a template that produces a really cool drone. Here's what it sounds like. Let me go ahead and solo the, uh, the Wucha here, and you can hear what the drone sounds like. Yeah, kind of nice. Now, let me go ahead and uh, turn off solo so you can hear the entire mix together. Here we go. And I'm going to let it go so you can hear the Frippertronics kind of coming in. So that's it. That's how I got the sound for that particular performance. The Neural Amp Modeler, I think the tech on that is really cool and it sounds really good in particular for where it is in the development process. You know, I recently did a shootout with the IK Multimedia Tonex pedal and software against the Strymon Iridium. Oof, I have to say, I think the Neural Amp Modeler sounds as good or perhaps better than the Tonex uh, software that I've been playing around with. Maybe it's the people making models uh, for Neural Amp Modeler. I don't know, but this thing has a more organic sound and feel to me than the Tonex product does. And you sure can't beat the price. So I would definitely recommend that you check it out. Again, I've got links below. I also have a playlist here of other ambient guitar recording walkthroughs to show you how I get my sounds. I hope you'll check them out. See you all over on those videos. <laughs>